All right, today guys, uh, it's Gary from DIY Electronics. Um, today as promised, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to um, delete a 5816 wireless contact from a SafeWatch uh, Pro 3000, Vista 20, whatever you wanna call these things. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to delete, and then I'm gonna show you how to add um, a new contact in place of this one on the same zone. Okay, you can make it a different zone, but um, I had a subscriber wanting to know how to do it on the same zone. He must have a, a bad contact and he wants to put a new one in. All right, and what I'm going to do it on is I'm going to put it on one of these ADT hostage keypads. Um, I call it a hostage keypad. Is this ADT puts these in and they're holding you hostage because every time you want to do something with your system, you've got to have an ADT rep come out and do the programming with one of these. Um, custom English keypads because with this one you can program with this one but you gotta know exactly where you are in the program or you're just you're gonna screw up the whole system that's why I call this a hostage keypad um, ADT is holding you hostage with this all right enough about that um, let's get into how to delete a contact and then add in a new contact on the same zone using a fixed English keypad uh, for a Vista 20 SafeWatch Pro 3000. Um, this is also for uh, Vista 10, Vista 15, uh, Vista 15 SE, all those different ones. It's the same thing. All right, what I want you to do first is I want you to write down this template that I wrote up for you. Okay, now I'm pretty sure you guys can see that, but I'm going to hold it right there. Now pause the video and write all that down, okay? Now, I want you to, um, that, uh, that one there was on how to delete the zone. Now this next template, this one here is, if you notice, this is on how to add the zone. So I'll hold that for a second so that you can pause the video and write all that down. Okay, all right, that should be long enough. Now, let's go with this, this first template and let's delete this contact. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in on the this keypad only. All right, I'm gonna focus it. And of course, it's not focusing for me, but let me see how it is. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see if I can focus it a little bit. Oh, that's bad. That's not too bad right there. Okay. So, now, to delete a zone, you have to go in the program. The installer code for my system, it's not going to be the same for yours. I don't know what your installer code is, but my system is 4321. Yours, most likely, will be 6321 or 4112. You can try those two. You can even try 4321, but I doubt it's going to work. But I just have 4321 on all of my panels, so I know they're all the same. All right, so you have to go in the program. So follow along with that template that I showed you. Installer code, okay, 4321 is for me. And then you hit 800. All right. Now, you're in position 20. You want to get to position 56 by hitting star 56. All right, now you hit the star key. All right, now this is the zone number. The zone you wanna get rid of is zone 10. That's what that's what this, this um, contact was, it was zone 10. I forgot to show you guys that, but it was zone 10. All right, so zone 10 and then you hit star and then star. And then to delete it, you at this point you hit zero zero. Okay, hit star. And then right here you hit the number one. Okay, then you hit zero zero. Then you hit star nine nine to get out of the program. All right, now that's. That was this template right there. You follow that template completely. And now if you watch and I 
open up the contact, you still get a green light because I have deleted this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this brown one and we're going to program it into the system. So let me put the brown one right there. And then grab your, grab your add zone template. And now we're going to follow the template. Four, three, two, one, eight, zero, zero. Okay. Now next it says go star 56. Then it hit, says hit star. Then it says punch in the, uh, the uh, zone number, which we're putting it in. We're putting it back into zone 10. All right. Then you hit star star. Then you're going to tell it the zone type. I'm going to make this a perimeter. That's an 03. Okay. And then you hit the star four times, just slowly. One, two, three, four. Now it says trip the zone twice. So I trip it. Trip it again. Okay, then it says hit star, star, star. Then it says hit zero, zero. Then it says hit star nine, nine. Okay, so now this, this white one is out of the program and now this, um, this garage. This brown one is in, so let me just put it on the magnet. I'm gonna take it out. Fault. Garage. Back. Door. Now watch, I'll put the white one down here. Now take it off. Nothing. So let me put the brown one back on. You got the green light. If you guys didn't see it, I got a magnet right down here. See the magnet? That's where Fault. I got it. Garage. Back. Door. All right. So guys, that is how you delete a 5816 off of uh, whatever zone it is, okay? And how you know what zone it is, is you open this up, and it Fault. tells you right there, Garage. zone 10. Back door. All right, if it doesn't say, hit the star key, and it'll come up and tell you zone 10, all right? So that's how you delete a zone and add a zone using a ADT hostage keypad um, that works on the, this is Vista 10, Vista 15, Vista 15 SE, uh, SafeWatch Pro 3000, Vista 20. Um, this would, this is actually work all the way up to like a Vista 75 um, if you had one of those panels. And that's how you do it, guys. Questions, comments, leave it down below. And uh, thanks for watching.